Good morning, everybody. Today's workout is going to be a cardio core workout. Um, there is going to be a, uh, it's mostly body weight today. Um, you will need a chair for a few of the exercises. Um, and then we're going to do some step ups. I'm going to be stepping up on the chair. However, I realize that not everybody can step up on a chair. So I don't know if you have a step stool or something like this. I have a bunch of these. I love these. They fold up um, and they're pretty darn sturdy. Um, so if you have one of these accessible to you, feel free to use it for your step ups. Otherwise, I'm going to show you a way to modify your step ups with no equipment whatsoever. All right, so you'll always have that option. All right, so make sure you have some room to roam. We're just going to get started with a warm up. I'm just going to kick this into a shuffle with a side raise. So you're going to shuffle over, you're going to reach to your heel, you're going to come back and shuffle back. I'm going to move my chair out of the way here and down. Good. Shuffling it out side to side. Push those hips out nice and easy. It's going to be a pretty significant core feature to this. So it's functional core. Ways that our body uses um, that functionality for everyday life. Keep moving. Side to side. Give me a nice strong reach in that hand. Yep. Sit your hips back. You got it. Perfect. A few more like this. Just going to run through some of the exercises kind of that we'll be doing. Let's do one more each side. Awesome. Bring your hands out to the side. You're just going to simply twist your hips right, left. Kind of like a little swivel hip. All right, these are really great to whittle that waist. Side, side. Just pivot with those hips. One hip, other hip. Shake what mama gave ya. Good job. Then we're gonna pick up the last few, if you can. Got it. Twist, 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 four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now jack it out, stars. Good job. We're gonna change those star jacks to a nice breaker in four, three, two, one. So it's chop, 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 chop. We're gonna go back to those Star jacks in four, three, two, one. Star jacket. Yeah. Good job. So arms are going out on diagonal. So free to modify this right here. Icebreakers in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Chop. Yeah. Good work. Out. 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 Come on. Nice and strong. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving on over to your chair. If you have it, right, you're just going to sit into the chair. We're going to alternate into a front kick, into a side kick before we switch legs. All right, so you're up, front kick, side kick, sit back and switch. Front kick, side kick, sit back and switch. Now you're at the edge of your chair here. Yeah. Step and switch. Side to side. Yep, up and out. Good. Try not to use your hands as you stand up. So you can easily do this. Hands behind your head. Prisoner style makes this just a tiny bit harder. Nice work. Front side, side. Yeah, so it's a front kick, side kick. Good, you're gonna do one more each leg. And side. Step it out. Right here. Good work. Now you're just gonna turn and face your chair. You're just gonna go into a little butt kicks. So you're alternating those legs, jabbing it out. Now you can easily take this lower impact without jumping. Come on, just butt kick it. Good. Kick your heels towards your butt. Abs in, nice work. Perfect job. Eight. Eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Come on up. I'm going to shoot that chair a little bit away. We're going to come into a lunge.
lunge position here. So you're gonna alternate lugs in. So we're in a staggered lunge here position. Now I'm gonna take that leg back, I'm gonna switch it to the other side, and I'm just gonna come up. All right, so you're gonna do that again. Step it in, and come up. Good, feel the stretch that's going on in the back leg. And come up, beautiful. Nice and easy here. Come up. Awesome. Perfect job. Strong as you stand up. Nice work. You're going to do one more each side. Come up. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs. You got it. Now, let's just step it back and inch toward those feet towards your toes. Come up into a standing position. All right, so we're going to come into a bear crawl. So we're just going to crawl side to side laterals. All right, if this is too intense for you, stay just in your bear crawl. All right, just a couple of steps, hovering to the right. Nice, to the left. Good, to the right. Or left, doesn't matter. Beautiful. Now when we get to the end of our bear crawl here, I want you to add two jacks. One, two, bear crawl back. Check it out two times. Beautiful. You got one more each way. Come on. Back. Two. Three. Beautiful. Check it out. Awesome work, guys. Come up nice and easy. You got it. All right. All we've got here, we're just going to go into some jogs up here. Jogging out. Abs in. Nice work. Take it in four, three, two, one. Now we're just going to step out with that back leg. Step it out. No squat. Step it out. So this is a super wide squat. Big step out. So it turns into a sumo. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Your low hips back wide. Knees trap over your shoelaces, ankles. Perfect job. We're going to do one more each side. Nice work. Good. Now just going into some standing butt kickers. Pump those arms. Good. Course tight. Perfect, guys. Let's stay here for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Meet me on the floor. We're gonna just go in alternating bird dog, but these are gonna be diagonal bird dogs. So instead of our arm coming front, it's gonna go into a diagonal, and our leg is gonna come into a diagonal as well in an opposition. All right, so arms and legs are gonna look like this. We're gonna alternate sides. All right, tabletop position. All right, take your left hand, your right arm, diagonal punch it out, bring it in and switch. Out, out. So remember, this is a diagonal. Good. You're gonna see this move in a slightly different way. We'll hone in on each side at the end here. Good work, six, five, up, four, work it out here. Three, diagonal. Two, opposite arm, opposite leg. Last one. Sit back. Nice, come up onto a half kneeling position. We're just gonna reach these over and side to side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just bring both hands forward. Hold, now lean out that back leg into the front. Get a great big stretch. Nice, reverse. We're just gonna go into those stretches side to side, reach to the side, reach to the side. Looking good, guys. Feel the stretch, few more here. Let's do one more each side. And let's bring those hands down and push off that back leg into the front, getting a nice stretch. Nice work, now take your back leg, lift it up and step it in into a nice forward fold. 
to the right, to the left, left, right, doesn't matter which side, you're just reaching to the outside of your heel, four, three, two, and one, let your body hang, bring your body up nice and easy, good, just give me some nice low, slow skips, arms up higher, last four, three, two, and one, roll those shoulders, push them back, grab a drink if you need it, we're going to get started, I'm going to go grab a drink, so our workload today guys is going to be 45 seconds, with 15 seconds in between each exercise. There's about oh, 10, 12 of these, so you'll, you're gonna go through them, 15 seconds recovery each one, and then we will kinda go into that one more time. All right, so let's get this started here. Actually, let me show you what your first exercise is, and then we'll hit that timer. So we're gonna go into those swivel hips. Hip, hip. Now I'm pausing slightly in the center. If you need a bigger pause, you take it. All right, we've got eight seconds here. We're gonna get this show on the road. Swivel hips, arms out. So you're gonna pop that right hip, pop that left hip. Here we go. Up. Now just by keeping your arms out, you are working your arms, your shoulders, your lats. Hip, 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 hip. Feet are close together. Swivel them. Hip, shake it out. Landing slightly, lightly on the balls of my feet. You're on there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It wasn't so bad, right? Roll those shoulders. So you've got two strong icebreakers, two strong star jacks. Let me do this in a warm up. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Two and two. Five seconds. Two star jacks. Let's go. Two. One. Two. Come on. Uh, uh. off that stationary leg. Woo, here we go. Squat, step out, step in. This foot doesn't move. The only moving leg is that right side. So your left quad and your inner thigh is firing. Out, in, push off, get low, head up. This is good. I love doing this on a BOSU or a step where you get that push off so there's a little larger space in between the floor 
and your leg. So you'll cover a little bit more ground in, oh, that transition, shake it out. All right, so you know the drill, you know what's coming. We're switching legs. So our next two exercises are gonna be utilizing the chair. All right, we're stepping out, stepping in. Here we go. Step out, step in. So wide, narrow. Now staying a little bit lower into this, and don't popping up in between, makes this a lot harder. You'll feel that front quad really firing. Stay focused, inner thighs, outer thighs, quad, core. So if you have bad knees, you stay to the top end of this move, then you modify as you see fit. One more, oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna do a chair angry dolphin jack, or the angry donkey, I'm sorry. So what this is, is you're gonna kick your butt, pick it, jack it, butt kick, jack. All right, it's a little angry dog donkey. Here we go, hee -haw. hee -haw. come on. Now if you need to modify this, kick, Kick out, out, let's go. Eighteen seconds, fifteen seconds actually. Yeah, those donkeys, they're angry. Woo, one more. And recover. All right, grab me your chair. So we're gonna do right side and then left side. This is a sit to stand, front kick, side kick. So level one, toe is down. Level two, keep the leg out. Up, out, and down. Out, out, and down. So, toe down, lift, lift, if you need it. Otherwise, keep that leg up. Hup. Making it harder if you want. But you know what? I don't really feel like that one today. Come on. We are going to be doing some prisoners a little bit later. Hup. So if you are lifting your knee and keeping that leg lifted, this is very similar to a single leg, like a pistol squat. RDL, shake it out. All right. Woo. You're going to do the same exact thing. Opposite side. Remember, we're not symmetrically balanced. One side might be more of a challenge than the other. Sit at the edge of your chair. Pick your poison toe down. Toe up. Foot up. Fight for your balance at the top. If you don't have to put that top, top foot down, don't. And that means even between kicks. So if you notice I was really fighting for my balance. Kick it, kick it. Hook. This side is a little bit more of a challenge for me. So seriously, when I'm talking, it's hard for me to really stay focused. So I'm gonna shut up. One more. Oh yeah. Wow. Nice. All right, we'll need that chair a little bit later. Uh, so we're gonna come to the floor, out to the floor. We're gonna go into a forearm plank jack two times. Low, then you're gonna pop up, and then you're gonna give me two at the top. All right, three, two, one. Here we go, forearm to start. Two jacks, tuck that booty. Remember what a plank is, guys. Do not hike those hips. Quads, glutes, hamstrings, everything is squeezed. Bottom end, so you're lower to the ground, harder. Top end, a little bit easier. Add a little more stability. 
17 seconds. Those forearm plank jacks should be kind of kicking your butt here and recover. Wow. Woo! All right, meet me up at the top. So, levels here. So you've got no chair. You're gonna step up, switch legs. All right, level two. Oh, I'm gonna stop my timer here just for a second. Level two, you've got a step. All right, level three, you've got a chair. And I'm gonna add intensity to it by keeping my hands behind my head. So you choose what's right for you. All right, three, two, one. Head is facing forward. Try not to look down. Now, of course, healthy knees is a request, a re requirement for this exercise. So take the modify, med modifications that is right for your body and own it. Don't feel bad if you need them. Good, you got one more each leg for me. Ah, nice work. All right, you're gonna push that off to the side. You're gonna come into a half kneeling position. So what you got here is you're going to reach to the floor, reach to the floor four times, and you're gonna cross punch this four times. Here we go. Floor, 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 floor. One, two, three, four. Reach, 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 reach. Now I'm trying to keep my hand right in front of my knee, of my back knee that is. One, two, three. You should really, that back side, whoo, almost fell over. So, so you notice our core is working here. Ow. Four cross. One, two, three, four. Like you're the boss, guys. Four cross. One, two, three, four. Switch sides. Woo! So when you windmill to that back side, you're gonna feel it a little bit more because you really have to cover ground. Now your core is stabilizing for you. Get ready. Four and four. Here we go. Reach. Reach. Now you have to go slower to get your body to the floor, do it. Full range of motion is what I want. So right on that side where my back leg is, it's much harder Oh, to reach the floor, so I really have to engage my waist, my rotators. So we get out of this quarantine, Weather's gonna be really warm and we're gonna be going right into bathing suit short weather. So we need to look fine. Oh. You got one more round of four crosses. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, from here, you're gonna do a lateral bear crawl to one side, which is about three crawls. All right, so it's one, two, three. I'm gonna pop up, I'm gonna shuffle two times, come back, and then I'm gonna bear crawl back. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna shuffle down. I'm gonna shuffle back. Bear crawl, lateral, two, three. Now you're gonna go with whatever room you have in your arsenal. But I don't want it to be too big because I want you to get two to three shuffles in here. I got a big drink. Oops. Bear crawl back. So, 12 seconds, a lot of shoulders here. So remember, this is too intense for you. Don't laterally move, it's your last shuffle. Awesome, beautiful. All right, grab some water, guys. Towel off if you need to. Awesome. All right, so now you got the hang of that. 
We've got one more round. Oh my gosh, got some hair flips here going on. We've got one more round, just like that. All right, this, the go back fast. You know what you've got to do here. We'll focus through it, and then we're going to finish with some floor inner thigh, a little bit of abs and core work again. All right, we are close, guys. All right, so let's reposition here. I have that chair nearby for some of those exercises, and we're going to hit that timer. So we got 10 seconds, we're going to do our arms out swivels. All right, so this is your second time through, so see if you can pick up the intensity. Oops. All right, so remember, swivels. Ha. All right, your body's loose, warmed up. Shake what mama gave you. Here we go. Now I'm going to throw in a 15 second quick speed round at the end if you choose to join me. So I'm stopping in the middle as I transition. I'm going to take that little swivel, that little hop out the last 15 seconds. You still got 10 more seconds before that 15 second mark. Focus, arms out, feel the shoulders. Here we go. Hip, hip. Don't throw out the hip, just swizzle, 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 swizzle. swizzle. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Wow, roll your shoulders. Two icebreakers, two star jacks. All right, pick up the intensity if you can. All right, you know what you need to do. Let's do it. Let's stay strong. Three, two, one, two icebreakers. Ha, ha, ha. ha let's go. Ho. Can you get those hands all the way to the floor? Big chop, big chop. By adding these big grunts, I'm adding intensity. Like you mean it. It's a game face. These workouts are your workouts, all right? You do them what's right for you. Make them your own. Woo! Shake it out. All right, three spider switches and lunge hop. Take all of that out. No jumping if you don't need to. All right, modify just by stepping in, stepping back out. In three, two, one, let's switch. One, two, three. Focus on your form. So you can easily do this as a step back and come up. No jump necessary. Guys, this is your last five seconds. Give me one more if you can. Oh, holy cow. That was brutal. Wow, okay. All right, we got our step out squats. I'm gonna do my left out, left in, so my mover is my right leg. Stay low if you can. All right, remember these? Squat, step out. Try not to come up. Too high in between. Can you get lower in your step up? It's a big frog sumo. Feet are super wide. Super wide. Pushing off that front foot. Chipping away, guys. Doing great. I always think the second set goes a lot faster because you know what to expect. You've got 12 seconds. This is the game changing set set. All right, this is one where you give me more. Oh, wow, feel those, yeah? Okay. If you need a break in between, tween, take it. Six seconds, we switch sides. Wow. All right, switch it out, here we go. Squat, 
Step out. Step in. So you can even make this more intense here. And you can add a hop when you step in. All right? Don't let me stop you if that's what you want. I can hear all of you going, hell no. Nancy's like shaking her head, uh-uh. Robin's like, no. Mary's like, well, maybe. Laura says, absolutely, Kath. Come on. Oh. How about it, Maureen? Woo! How about it, Janine? You want to add intensity? Come on now. You got one more. Mmm. Oh. Woo! All right, take out that bird to your angry donkeys. Single these out. One, one, out. And out, otherwise, a kick, jack. Here we go. Use your body weight here. Now, I opted for the chairs on these. We do these on the floor sometimes, which is much harder. But trust me. Woo! Do one more. Wow. All right, we got sit to stands. We're gonna do our left leg here. So remember. You're up front, side. Woo, sweating like a demon down here. And my fan is on. Here we go. Front kick, side kick. Touch that toe to the floor. If you need that extra. Holy moly. The side is definitely my nemesis. Balance and control this 20 seconds. Even though you're doing no high intensity moves, your core is in overdrive. Let's go. Plus your single leg loop hamstring. Ow! Wow. Hug it. Wow. Good. Start standing up. Other leg. Tiptoe it down or keep it lifted. Kick inside. All right. Edge of your chair. Keep the knee up. Extend the heel. Extend the heel. So one's going to the front uh, with conviction. And one is going to the side. Woo, one more. So if you were thinking that is too hard for me, give me a front kick, side kick. Front kick, side kick, way to modify, right? All right, move that chair out of the way. We're gonna go into our forearm planks, jacks, full plank, jacks. Meet me at the bottom. Here we go. Down, down, jack. Hook, hook, jack, jack. Down, down, jack. Hook, hook, jack. Feel the difference in your core. When you're on your forearms, levers are shorter, levers are longer, then it gets a tiny bit easier. 18 seconds. Are you tucking? Are you squeezing? Are you breathing? Eight seconds. One more here. Woo! Sit back. Wow. All right, guys. Up and at them. 
All right, so here we go. Step up, step up. All right, you don't have a chair or a stool. That's your modification. Here we go. Prisoner hands behind your head if you can. All right, guys, you're so close here. There's a ton of variety today. Come on. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of equipment to get a cardio straight core woo, workout. Oh yeah. Nice guys, come on now. Woo. Last one. Nice. All right, push that chair out to the side. You're done with it. All right, I'm going into your half kneeling windmills. I'm going to go left leg in front, right leg behind. Static or um, stabilize for your front leg. Core is tight. Remember, you're going to reach four times. Four cross. Four, three, two, one. You want to get full range of motion in your cross punches. to work guys. It's designed to rotate side to side. It's designed to twist. Now by doing this on your knees, you're creating a lot more core. So if we do this standing, it's going to feel different. It's going to work similarly, but this intensifies it. Let's do last two here. Awesome. Woo, shake it out, switch. All right, after this side, we're going into our bear crawls, and then we're ending with floor. All right, abs in, core tight. Stabilize from that front leg, side, side. So as soon as you touch the floor, come right back up. Cross, 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 cross. Does anybody notice that they're balanced? You're tipping it to side to side, and you have to really fight for control. If you notice that, that means you must be working at a clip that's a little harder for your body to stabilize for. And that's a good thing. So you want to control the chaos, meaning you don't want to make it look chaotic. But you do want to create instability to try to throw that body off so it has to work that much harder. Mm. Oh, let's finish four crosses. Awesome, all right, we're in our bear position. You got one lateral board bear crawl. You're gonna shuffle back two times and you're gonna crawl back. Last 45 second drill. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two. So we're gonna have to switch this up someday and do that in a crab walk. These are things I do in my cardio blast class. Woo! Body weight is no joke, guys. Don't underestimate it. There is a lot going on here. Give me one more shuffle. And stay here, shake it out. Wonderful. All right, guys, grab some water. I'm dripping, towel off. Woo! All right. You guys are killing this, it's awesome. All right, guys, you're gonna meet me to the floor. So we're just gonna finish with some floor work. You're going to come to your side. I'm going to, I'm going to grab my towel. the timer here. All right. All right. So here's what you got. You're going to come onto your side. You're going to take your front top leg. You're going to bring it behind the front leg. You're going to point or flex the heel super tight. So it's just going to lift and lower, kind of in the mid-range here, for 10. And then you're going to point. You're going to hold it in the middle. Point flex, point flex, point flex. And then you're going to go back 
to those middle of the road leg raises. So we're not coming all the way down and coming all the way up. We're staying kind of a pulsing kind of a format here. But I want you to lean with that, lean with that heel. So your toe points down, and then you really are really lifting or rotating that inner thigh towards the ceiling. All right, so we point and flex. It's a hard point, hard flex, hard point, hard flex. All right, so every 10 seconds, we're going to uh, rotate that leg. All right, here we go. In the middle here, 10 seconds. So as you can tell, I am not a counter. I don't like to count. I lose track a lot, but then I can't really talk to you. Feelings already because I did these earlier. Beautiful. Now hold it. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. You got it. Last one. Up and down. Remember you're staying in the middle of a row, no higher than your knee. Hold it at the top, point and flex. Point, flex, point. Remember that heel, that inner thigh is rotating to the sky. All right, hold it up here in between. Beautiful, now hold it at the top, point, flex. One, two, Three, how you feeling? Four, five, six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten left. Ten, I'm on fire. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. My inner thigh is burning and now just hold it at the top. Small pulses, last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Oh, pin it out. Guys, right, so that was about a minute and a half on that leg, isolating it. Woo, little stretch there. Okay, let's take it to the other side. All right, same exact thing, a minute and a half here every 10 seconds. Make sure you're rotating that heel so that inner thigh is this way. I don't want your knee pointing to the sky. You won't be working that inner thigh. All right, lay on the back here. All right. All right, flex the heel. Here we go, 10 seconds. So I'm in the middle of that from my ankle to up the, uh, right by my knee. Now hold it in three, two, hold, point, flex. Four, three, two, one, lift and lower, staying in that mid-range. Good. Point and flex in three, two, one, hold it at the top, point and flex. Three, two, one, mid-range, up and down. I'm going to have such bad wrinkles. All right, hold it at the top right here, point flex. Good, up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. Point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, I'm burning. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, six, this one hurts much harder. Four, three, two, one. Hold it, pulse it. Ten, nine, eight. Top end. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my gosh, right here, yes? Oh, let's come into a quick butterfly. Awesome. All right, we're going to come into those diagonal bird dogs that we did, that I showed you earlier. Only difference is we're just going to stay on one side for 30 seconds. So here's what they look like straight ahead. To the side, so it's not to the side, it's at a diagonal, and that opposite arm is going to diagonal out. So you're going to come in and out. I'm touching the floor in between each one. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. Out, in, out. 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 Out
Dad, keep that head and neck neutral. Diagonal. 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 Ten seconds. Four. Three. Two more. Two. One. Ah. Like it. Feeling your quads here too. All right. Repositioning. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Same thing. Here we go. Out. Out. Head and neck neutral. I really feel the ab opposition. Your glutes are firing. Boop. Lots of abs here, guys. Come on. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one more. Oh, woo, perfect. All right, meet me on your backside. So we're just gonna finish what? With a quick tiptoe crunch. So all this is, you're gonna lay one toe on top of the other, or heel toe, I should say. So you're gonna crunch to the sky. So you're gonna lay back. So I've got my left heel on top of my right toe, straight leg. Now all I'm gonna do is a small crunch. My, think of a tennis ball under my chin. I'm gonna crunch up, pushing my tailbone down into the mat through the top of my spine, all the way down. So belly button into the spine, coming down. Now don't crunch, so you shouldn't be looking at your toe. Look to the ceiling, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you pushing hard? 10, really push, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, look to the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, hold this. Now take that top leg, reach your elbow towards that knee, and now just pulse forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay back, up that knee. All right, we're gonna switch legs here, guys. These are small movements. So my right heel is on my left toe, hands behind my head, tennis ball under my chin, push your belly button down into the spine, so keep a flat back. Here we go, one, two, Three, four, five, really isolating push. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. You should be starting to feel these now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold here, bring that knee up, elbow towards the knee, pulse upward towards the knee, hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, again for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug it in. Woo! Beautiful work, you guys. Come on up. Sink it up. We are done. We're just going to stretch it here. If you want to do another set of abs, go for it. Add your own. All right. I'm not a biggest fan of doing a lot of crunches. A lot of the work we did today really covered a lot of core that is going to really help with uh, core strength, with six-pack abs, if that's what you want, better posture, the whole nine yards. All right. So let's lay back again. Let's take that leg, bend it, and now let's rotate it up and over and hold here. So, rotate your palms to the sky, look towards the sky. Now you should really feel a great stretch here, almost like an L from your hip flexor, hip torso. Now look at the gaze, look at your opposite hand. Oh, just by adding that slight turn, you get a little bit different rotation. Oh yeah. Amazing. All right, bring that leg back up. Now just let that leg just flop to the side.
just one knee. So really letting that knee just flop. Let that leg just stretch on its own. Good, now bring that leg straight. Take your opposite knee, bend it. Power it over. Oh, this leg's a little bit harder. Your gaze is to the sky, and I'm feeling a big, giant pull on the opposite arm. All right, now slowly look at that opposite arm and hold it here. Wow, big stretch here, guys. This is a really, really, really good torso stretch. Nice. All right, coming back onto your back, take that leg, let it drop out to the side. Now just hang here. Don't force it. You can actually put a tiny bit of pressure on it. Now take the other leg to join it. So now you're in a nice butterfly position. Just let your knees come towards the mat. Don't bounce them. But what you can do is reach and resist push down into them. So you're going to feel a nice groin stretch here through your inner thigh into the groin. Breathe through the stretch. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You've got two more seconds here. And release it. Bring those knees together. Hug them in. Tighten yourself like a nice little ball. Hold it. And take the hands underneath it. Four half rolls. Three. Two. Power roll up. One last butterfly here. Lean forward. Good. Give yourself a nice wide straddle. All right, heels. To the floor, you're gonna do a little body saw, you're gonna reach across, saw that hand across, bring it up back to center, saw it across, reach, bring it back to center, saw it across. Get low if you can, really reach into this. You got two more. It's your last one. Grab your toes, hinge forward. Big step, big step, tuck your head. Walk your hands in, grab the hands behind you, reach hinge forward, let that head drop, lift the arms. Excellent, bring your legs together, side to side reaches, bring it over your head, reach it out. Push that hand into the floor to get nice leverage. Four, three, Two and one. Big arm circles. Let's do those circles reversed. You got it. Good job, guys. Slowly walk yourself up. Just start into that forward fold. Hips up first. Then slowly let the rest of your body rock and roll up. Head will be the last thing up. Nice tight shrugs to the sky, or to your ears, squeeze them, take the heels of your palm, push them out and away. Let's do that again. Palms, push them out and away. Let's come into a ginormous inhale like we always do. Come into your heart center, guys. Give yourself a round. That was really a fun, I think, cardio core workout. We worked a lot of core, worked a lot of shoulder stabilizers, lats, the whole nine yards. All right, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.